Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux in YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Python. That how we can use Python to create zip files. So the PyCharm editor for Python is opened in my Linux Mint 19.3. Firstly, we will simply going to make a program that makes zip files from the existing files. And after that, we will see that how we can add directories and multiple paths to our zip file. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write up the code in the fast forward mode and then I will discuss it line by line. For the simple program, we just need to import one module. The zip file module is self-explanatory. It provides us with very easy to use functions that allow us to create zip files and add directories, files and subdirectories to the newly created zip files. The module has many uses available as well. So in the line number two, I have created a zip file object. And here you have to write the name of the file that whatever you want. I want to create a zip file with temp.zip name. So I have written it here. And if you want to write any other name that you can. So I have written W here because the system has to write a new zip file. In the line number three, we have to specify the file that for what file we have to create the zip file. So here should be the name of the file that for whom you are going to create a zip file. So now let's run this program. And here you can see that the temp.txt file is present in my current directory. And you can see that it has actually created the temp.zip file here in this directory. Moreover, we can validate it by going to the folder directory. And here we have temp.zip file. All right. Now let's see that how we can add directories and multiple paths to our zip file. I have already written the program for this. So I'm going to copy and paste the code and then I will explain each step one by one. The code is available in the description of this video, so you can copy and paste from there. So first of all, we have imported some required modules and I have explained the zip file module in the previous code. So now let's see that what OS module actually do. The OS module basically allow us to deal with file paths in our program. It allow us to view directories and list and their contents in the simplest way. When both these libraries are used together, you will be able to easily create a program to handle the compressing task. Here I have defined a new function that get all file paths. It will take the path of directory as an argument or as an input and get the path of all files in that particular directory. The files could be more than one. So therefore I have initialized a new empty list to store file paths. The list is dynamic in size. This for loop crawl through directory and subdirectories and files to check the files in a particular directory. Here we are using os.walk function and we are giving the directory as an argument to this function. This method gets the full path of the file and store it in a new variable which is basically a file path variable. So here I have added this file path in the file path list. So I have used a pen method here because there could be multiple files in this directory. So it will not actually replace or overwrite the previous files. So therefore using append will be helpful in this situation. So this function basically returns the file paths. I have defined a new function here, which is basically the main function for this program. So here I have declared a new variable, which is the directory variable. And I have specified the path of the folder, which needs to be zipped. In this line, I'm calling a function to get all file paths. And you can see that I have input this directory variable as an argument to this function. So basically it will return the file paths. And here we have a for loop, which will basically print the list of all files that to be zipped. In this line, I'm writing the files to a zip file. And here I have specified the name of the newly created zip file. So I have given a name to it like mypython files.zip. 
so if you want to give any other name so you can do whatever you want this for loop basically write each file one by one and you can see that here I have used zip dot write function to write the file so when all the files will be written successfully then the program will print a message or print a line that all files zipped successfully after writing this main function we have to call this function to execute this program and here I am calling the main function and this is the syntax to call main function in python so let's run this program and you can see the output that all files zipped successfully so you can change the path of the folder and if you want to go back to the downloads folder and create the zip file of that downloads folder so specify here like I have to go back so therefore all right and specify downloads here so when I will run this program so it will zip all the files in the downloads folder so let's run this program and in the python console you can see that it has basically started to create the zip file it is reading all the files one by one and you can see that in the project directory that it has created the zip file for the downloads folder and the name of the zip file is mypythonfiles.zip so let's change the name of this zip file go here and change the name of the zip file like like my zip file dot zip and let's get back to the my folder so now let's run it and see what happens and you can see in the project directory that it has created a new zip file which is basically my zip file dot zip so in this way you can create zip file by using python I hope you found this video useful for knowing that how we can use python to create zip files. Keep following us on the Linux in YouTube channel and do not forget to subscribe it for more useful videos about Linux. Thank you.